Hello! Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today we're going to be working on the traditional Georgia quilt block. So if you want to know how to make a block like this, please stay tuned. Here's our block that we're going to be working on today. It's actually a 25 patch block, so there are five um, pieces going across and then five pieces going down to make a total of 25 um, 25 pieces. Now before I start anything even remotely like this, I like to start with a drawing. So because I don't want to make I don't want to worry about making quilts or making blocks to see what it's going to look like. So you see that I have several different colorways around here, but I circled this one. This is the one that we're going to use and it's going to be scrappy. This example is green. This one is gold, but the one that we're actually going to make today is gray. So first you would start with your scraps. And I've taken, um, for this example, I've taken black, white, and gray to, um, to make the quilt. And so the black and white are going to be exactly where they are here. And the gray is going to go where the green is. So what I've done is I've cut from my black fabric, I've cut nine two and a half inch squares, four white two and a half inch squares, and eight gray two and a half inch squares. And then from the black and white, I have um, two each of two and seven eighth inch squares. And we're going to use these to make our half square triangles. It's white on the top and black on the bottom. And what I've done is I've drawn a line down the center. I'll hold this up close. I drew a line down the center and I've stitched on either side. And so I'm going to cut these apart and then press them to make my half square triangles. Now I have my four half square triangle units done. You see them here. And so I can lay out my design. And you want to lay out your design to be sure that you're sewing everything in the right direction. So what I can do, um, you can either use your picture or since I have a, um, a block here that's already made, I can just follow the block. And the cool thing, one cool thing about this block is that it doesn't matter if it's upside down or right side up um, because the pattern is the same all the way around. So we'll start with gray black, white, black and gray. Okay. And then for the, um, the half square triangle units, you want to make sure that your black is facing out. So like that, you want to have black to black. And then here, and so on. And I'm going to finish laying this out and then I'll get ready to sew. Everything is laid out and now it's time to sew. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one side over at a time. So I'll pull all of these over like this. Then I'm going to chain piece these and then without cutting any threads I'm going to add the next one. So I'll chain piece all of these first two rows then add the next two rows and so on until I get finished. So I want to show you how I um, how I piece these together in rows by doing chain piecing. So what I'm going to do is I have these, this is the first row that I've done, and I'm just going to open this kind of like a book. So open the left side so that the black is showing. And so this will be, my next piece will go on top of this piece. Alright, so right sides together. Of course I'm doing a quarter inch seam. That's our standard quilting seam. Allowance, okay, and I am using a um, a leader that is basically another project that I'm doing at the same time. So all my leaders and enders will be projects that I'm working on right now. Okay, and then for the next piece, open it up left left side up like a book. Then put the next piece right sides together on the right page, so to speak. And then I'm going to continue this process up till I finish up all five rows. Rows look like this now. You see that they've been um, chain pieced. You see the extra thread. So I'm going to cut them apart and press. And I'm going to press um, each row so that they go a different way. So probably the top row is going to the left, all the seam allowances, and then right, left, right, left, and so on. Almost done. So the next step is going to be to sew these rows together. And what I'm going to do is fold the bottoms. I'll start with the bottom, fold it over. And you can see that the seams will nest because the these seams are going to the left and the other seams are going to the right, so they'll make a nice nest. And then I'll do um, I'll do that for all of the rows 
and give it a nice press. Then we'll see what it looks like. Here is our finished Georgia quilt block. This one is super scrappy. You can see that um, I just dug from my scraps to create this. You can turn it any old way and it's the same block. I want to put it next to the one that we did earlier. And you can see that once you put these together, they're going to create a cool secondary pattern that's some rings. And so I'm really excited to put uh, blocks all around these because the whole quilt will have little black rings going all around it. Also on the back, on any side, the seam allowances all point in one direction. And that is so that if there's an issue with them nesting once you put it together, for example, if the other side is going down, as well as this side, all we have to do is flip the block. And that's going to help them nest because these seams now face up. If you have any questions about this blog or about quilting that I can help with, um, I look forward to answering your questions in the comments below. So uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!